Um, Shalom, it's your brother here, Yakanin. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makakwadash, Barakatum. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who rule well and have taught me this truth and citations out there to the hopeful elect. The brothers that are putting this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully to you, I'd like to say Shalom. All right, it's going to be a quick lesson all right, on who the real Jews truly are and who the imposters are. Okay, damn near the whole world knows this. Except the actual chosen people of the Lord. The whole world knows who the chosen are. Except you actual chosen. You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay? We're going to play this clip. And we're going to go from there. Video of the Israeli government holding a private convention here in the United States. One of the people in attendance at this secret meeting was Judith Varnai Shorer. She's a former Israeli consul general who was operating out of Atlanta. She was one of the main people saying that the biggest problem that they had was young black people in the United States. But don't worry, they've got some black leaders on the payroll. The major problem of Israel is with the young generation of the black community. The problem of Israel is with the young generation of the black community. Black is with the young generation of the black community. This was an Israeli government official who was saying this. Not some low-level operative or some rogue member of their diplomatic corps. This was a senior member of their administrative government who was saying this on American soil. Their biggest problem wasn't Hamas or Hezbollah or the Palestinian Authority or Syria or even Iran. She said that Israel's biggest problem was young black people. Okay, so that lets you know that they know who the chosen people of the Lord are, okay? They, and then when they're talking about them blacks in America, they're not talking about just your regular nigga, all right? They're talking about the prophets of the Lord, the young men that's out there in the highways and the byways, that's out there telling the people the truth, that's standing uh, 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 in the face of their adversaries with boldness, all right? Speaking and, and, and yelling at Right, and condemning the heathens and letting the people know who their enemies are and letting the people know who they are. All right, she's speaking about those so called black Americans, which are truly the prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Okay, Revelation 3 and 9 Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not. Who are the ones calling out, going around the world saying that they're the Jewish, that they're the chosen people? All right, it can't be us because our people don't know who the hell they are. All right. So it's talking about the false Jews, all right? The Malachites, all right? Not, not the actual Jews, okay? It says, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. Talking about the actual Israelites, not you false wannabes, okay? Because at the end of the day, the word Jewish, I-S-H, is, is, is a suffix, meaning uh, pertaining to be so if I was to say you're childish that doesn't actually make you a child it makes you uh, uh, acting it, it means you're acting like a child so if you are Jewish it doesn't mean you're the actual Jew it means you're portraying to be like the actual Jews okay Psalms 58 and 3 the wicked are estranged from the womb from the womb they go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies all right so that's who Edom is es Esau so-called white man, he, he it's in him to just be a liar, to just be wicked. I right? from the womb the Lord has created him to be wicked and to be a liar. Okay? So that's what he's doing. Second Ezra six and fifty-six. As for the other people which also come of Adam, the other people which also come of Adam. Okay, well we'll go back to, to get this context. Okay. Second Ezra six and fifty-four. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. As for the other people, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So we all come from Adam. But there's also a chosen people, and as there's the other people. There's the chosen, and then there's the other. And these, these, these heathens, along with you Edomites, along with you so-called Jewish, you are the other people 
And the Lord said, you are like unto him like nothing. And be like unto spittle. All right? The Lord don't care about you other heathen nations. Okay? The Lord is only dealing with the Israelites. All right? The so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's pictured on this, on this 12 tribes of Israel sign. Judah. American blacks, Benjamin, the West Indian blacks, Levites, the Haitians, Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans, Manasseh, the so-called Cubans, Simeon, the so-called Dominicans, all right? Zebulon, all right? The Guatemalans and Panamanians and the Mayans, Gadites is the Native Americans, and then the Ruben is the Seminole Indians, Asher is the Colombian or Uruguay or, or Incas, Issachar is the Mexicans or the Aztecs, and, and Neftali is the Argentinas or the Chiles. Okay, and it's scattered throughout, you know, Africa and the world. Scattered, but we are scattered throughout the four corners of the world. Okay? And the Lord going to go into who his chosen truly are. All right? 1 Peter 2 and 9. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. The word holy means to be separate, to be set apart. A peculiar people that you should shew forth the praises of him that have called you out of his darkness into his marvelous light. All right, and that's talking about the Israelites. All right, the Israelites are the chosen. The Israelites are the royal priesthood. All right, Esau does nothing but lie. All right, he is a liar. All right, he doesn't want this truth to get out. According to John eight four four, ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father will you do. He was a murderer from the beginning. Let's talk about Cain and Abel. All right, didn't Cain kill his brother Abel? That was the first murder in the Bible. And then he asked the Lord. The Lord was like, where's your brother at? And he was like, am I my brother's keeper? Yeah, you're supposed to look out for your brother. All right, so Cain was a murderer from the beginning. And that same spirit came through Jacob and Esau. And that same spirit is in the world today. All right? And abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. There's no truth in the so-called white man. There's no, there's no righteousness in him. That's why the world is the way it is today. So fucking wicked and messed up is because of wicked and messed up persons in the room. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Okay, and we just read the scripture where he be born speaking lies. Okay, so these people, these Edomites do nothing but lie. Okay, they don't want us to know that you the true chosen people of the Lord. Alright, 2 Ezra 6 and 9, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Esau is the end of this world. But Jacob is the beginning of it. That father Jacob is about to get his own world. You Israelites are about to get your own kingdom. You're about to be set up, set up in your own rulership. All right? This rulership of you Edomites is getting ready to be done. All right? All right? So that's the truth. Hey, the world knows the truth. All right? The world knows all right, who the chosen people of the Lord truly are. All right? You so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, you better get on board. All right, you better wake up because the famine of the word is coming. All right. Soon, you know, what you know is what you know. And if you don't have this knowledge and wisdom, you don't. You will have no stability in the times to come. All right. So with that, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash, Mavarkadam, and double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth. And salutations out there to the hopeful elect, the brothers that are putting his work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. To you, I like to say, Shalom.